What's up guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how you can create your conversion objective campaign in Facebook if you don't have control of the page following your lead sign in page. Now, you may want to set up a conversion objective campaign because Facebook optimizes your visitors and the, the, the people to whom you show the ads more likely to convert. It, 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 it optimizes to the people that are more likely to uh, sign up and convert to your page as opposed to if your objective is, for example, website clicks where Facebook will optimize your audience uh, to be people that are more likely to click on your on your ad or just click on your site but not actually take any engagements, okay? So if, if you're like me and you really like the, you were fascinated by the idea that, hey, Facebook can optimize people that can convert, well, you went on create campaign, you said conversions and after you put in the name, it prompted you to input a pixel, and you were you were kind of stuck. You you may be thinking, "Hey, I don't have control of that page." So, for example, here's one of our uh, Click um, ClickBank products, this um, CB Passive Income. So, for example, if I have a page before this, with with my you know prompting people to put in their name and email and then taking them to this page, well, I can't track how many people land on this page because this page does not belong to me. And even if I go on ClickBank and use the integrated sales reporting as we've done in one of our previous videos, um, you still can't put a pixel on this page. You can only put it on the order form and order form confirmation. So let me show you how you can actually set this up so that you can finally set those conversions up for your Facebook campaign so it optimizes your audience. I will be using a software called ClickMagic. Um, I, I have a bunch of tutorials on that if you have any questions about how to use it or whatnot. But you don't have to use ClickMagic. You, you can use any tracking tool that works for you. So let me show you what I'm going to do. Now, now I did make a previous video on this as well um, regarding tracking pixels, but I thought this was so important that I should have made another video specifically for Facebook, not just tracking pixels, all right? So basically what we need to do is, is if you're in this uh, scenario where you have a page and you want to take them to another page and you want to track conversions, first thing we need to do is create a tracking link for that page which you have no control over. So literally, if, if, if I go on, for example, uh, google.com and let's say hi right and I take the first link here let's say hi hostels okay so if if I want to put a pixel hypothetically speaking on on this page which right uh, what's what's what, what what will happen is we're not gonna actually put a pixel on this page we're gonna put a pixel on a redirect page and I'll and I'll get into that uh, in a bit but what we'll do is we'll just select this URL of the page following our lead sign in page we're gonna put create new link, and we're gonna put that URL here. So I'm not gonna do this again because I already have one right there, but that's the process you would take. So you would put in the URL, you would put in a link ID, so this is just your tracking link. So for example, hotels, you would put an engine, just a name for you to make it easier for you to remember. So, you know, I'll say hotels, and then, yeah, so pick whatever um, whatever domain you may have. So you can use the basic domain that ClickMagic provides for you, which is like CLKMG, or you can buy a domain and you can use your own domain. And then what, what that's going to do is that's just going to generate a uh, tracking link for you right there. And that, that's it, okay? So this is our tracking link. So if we have our landing page, uh, upon completing the sign-in, you should give uh, your your visitors this link okay so what we can do now I'm just going to delete that and I'm going to use the one that I have right here uh, but it's the same thing this page does not belong to me so now what I can do is I can scroll down so you may need to click on advanced options um, so you'll need to say show advanced settings and then we need to go down to this pixel area and what we need to do is we need to put in this Facebook pixel, right? So let's go back to our account here. Let's go into pixels. And we need to grab that entire pixel code again. All right, so here's some of the pixels we've set up. If, if you're still a bit unsure as to how to set up the pixels, check out one of my previous videos. I'll put a link up above. Uh, but that should include everything for you. So let's grab this entire code. I'm going to exit out. And I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. And again, you don't need to use ClickMagic, whatever software you have that tracks. If it has this feature available, you can use it there. So I already had um, a pixel up above. This is just a tracking pixel for a ClickMagic, so I can track within the system. But um, this is the Facebook code, okay? So let's try this. 
let's put in save changes. And now what's going to happen is Facebook will be able to track, um, Facebook will see whenever someone goes to this page. So let me, let me illustrate that. So I'm going to go back to my main page. So here's our Facebook, um, you know, our, our, so to speak, landing page, which, which, which isn't very good, but um, it serves the purpose. So I'm going to go here. So actually, no, let me start off with the tracking link. Okay, so as you can see here, it's a crappy landing page. We've used this for illustration purposes. It's not meant to sell. And let me go through the process. So as you can see there, if you if you rewind back a little bit, it will show you it will show you the redirect page. Okay, so now our Facebook pixel should have fired. And in fact, if I go here, actually you won't see your Facebook pixel here because it was inserted on the redirect page, right? But that pixel should have fired and now I should be able to create that conversion campaign. So let's go back and let's just take a look and see. So what I could do is let's make a custom conversion and let's make people that because that's the URL, right? So we'll make that one. So let's go back here and let's say create custom conversion. So we're going to include this one so that we actually create that audience. Choose a category. So whatever category this is, you know, if this is a lead for you. You can make it a lead. And let's say next, a name. So let's say you know, Facebook conversion. Okay, so it says no activity yet, right? So what we can do is let's see if we can refresh that page. and it should show activity. So that means that our pixel should be ready to go. So no activity yet. So let's try, because that's the URL that should be there, which is this one. Hi, my name is Patrick. So let's try one more time. Now I will try it in a different browser. There you go, sorry about that. Let's try again. Okay, and then there you can you can see that little redirect, and then it takes us back to this page, right? Huh. So I'm just gonna pause that. So let's go back to our Facebook ads. There you go. And now it should say active, right? So it should be working. So this audience is ready to go for use for your conversions, even though you didn't have control of that page. We used a little redirect from Click Magic, all right? So now what I can do. Now that I've created that, I can go back to Power Editor and I can create a campaign with a conversion objective. So I can say create campaign. Let's try it out here. Um, Facebook practice campaign. Leave it at auction and let's say conversions. Um, that's fine. I'm going to skip this for now. No, I will need to do an ad set to put the pixel in. Let's click create. Okay, and now, so that's for the campaign. The campaign's fine. So let me click on that. And we need to edit this. So we'll click edit. And here it should prompt us to input our conversion, right? So normally you'd be stuck. You'd be thinking, hey, I can't do this. I can't do conversions. I will have to do clicks. No, you don't. So I'll click here and let's find our Facebook conversion. Right there, it says active in the last minute, URL contains, all that stuff. And that's it. You're good to go. Make your ad set from there. It should work. All right. And now you should be able to use this Facebook value uh, from the conversion conversion or audience most likely to convert that Facebook will optimize for you. OK, so I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.